Good morning. Hi, it's Lori Pinto from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thank you for joining me today for my Facebook Live. Um, welcome, and um, I'm happy that you're here with me. If you are here watching live, um, can you go ahead and just type hello, say hi, uh, just let me know that you're there. Um, if you're watching it on the replay, then that's um, fine. Just type in replay so that I know that you were there, and um, I might be... Um, maybe not this week, maybe next week I'll do some uh, giveaways for some sharing or for some commenting. But for today, um, we're just going to go ahead with it and see who's here joining me. Um, if, you're watching, if you are watching me on, on, Facebook, on um, YouTube, then just go ahead and subscribe so that you, can, um, you don't miss my next video. So today, really quick, I wanted to go over, um, just, I thought I would do a little video tutorial on one of the cards that's in my um, October holiday bundle class. It was a little different just from a regular card, so I thought doing it by video, step by step. It's not really 3D, but um, I'm kind of a visual person, so I would like to um, see it. I like to see it and watch it instead of reading about it. Um, but but if, you, if you are getting one of my class um, kits in the mail for this month, then you are, um, you'll get the PDFs. And I'll also put on the in the PDF a link to this uh, video. So if you, whatever you prefer, if you prefer to do it by PDF um, instructions, that's good too. So let me um, point you down, but I want to see if hopefully I'm not upside down. And um, just check to see if anybody's here with me today. Um, I know it takes a few minutes to come on or for people to find you. But um, let's see, all right, I'm sure it'll, it'll pop up soon. I'm here now, so. Okay, so this is the card. Let me send you down, and hopefully it's not too um, dizzying. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, so, oh, boy, that's not what we want. I It did come back on, but. Let's uh, take that off. All right, I want to be able to take off that sound. Hold on. Okay. All right. So this is the card that we're making, and um, this was part of the holiday bundle, and um, it was through the uh, with the featuring the perfectly plaid stamp set and bundle, which comes with this gorgeous stamp set and tree punch and we all love punches don't we we don't have to worry about having a, a die cutting machine so uh, this bundle is on page it's called the um, wrapped in plaid suite it's on page 12 let me turn it around for you and um, 12 through 14 you get to see um, the stamp set, the beautiful DSP, that's part of the suite. The bundle is just the stamp set and the uh, tree punch. But if you got the whole suite bundle, um, you would get the bo gold boxes, the jingle bells, the paper, the ribbon, um, the whole the whole shebang. So, um, but today, but the, the actual bundle class is just featuring the stamp set and the bundle. And how that works is um, you, you just tell me if you want to join the class and come to our class, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, live, uh, which the class is next Wednesday. The RSV, RSVP for that it was a little bit a while ago because I have to be able to order the bundle for you and then we do the cards here with me at, um, at my studio. And um, so every class comes with five different card designs um, using that one bundle. So I supply everything that you need for that for the online, for the um, live class. Um, if you ordered it, if all you have, if you're online, all you have to do is order it, um, and by 
I think it, I think I said by the 14th. Um, and then once I see that you ordered it, I would just send you the kits and the PDFs. So that's how my online class works um, This for, for the holiday season. We'll go back to my regular online classes in January. But for now, I just wanted you to um, get the bundles and have fun and make and provide you with five different designs for that. So since this one was a little tricky and it really is just a question of the scoring, um, that's why I chose to do this one for our live today. Um, so you can do it along with me. So like I said, the whole thing is just regarding scoring. And that gives me an opportunity to bring in my new trimmer and um, honestly, I just got it. I was away for the weekend and it was here waiting for me when I got home. So I'm very excited. Um, I'll just tell you a few things that I noticed just from playing with it this morning. Um, it's, it's thinner than um, our, our old one and probably um, not as thick this way also. So I think that's, um, that's a good thing. It's, it's straight, so you don't have those curves sticking out. Um, First thing I should say is there's the plastic film is on all different sides. So be um, be aware of that, that when you do it this way, um, there was film on this side, this side, and this side here. So just make sure you get all that out. Um, that was my first thing that I, that I <laughs> figured out. And that was really the hardest part. What I noticed and what I, well, first of all, what I liked is that it is less expensive than the old trimmer. This is only $25 and it's available to demonstrators this month. We don't really have a release date yet for customers, um, but we, but they tell us that they're just kind of testing it out, want to get some feedback. Um, but it seems to me like it's all good feedback so far. So I, I would imagine it's going to be available to everyone very soon. So $25 price point. Um, the other thing I noticed besides the shape that, you know, it's, it's much easier to pack in your bag and to uh, take with you, but the arm for the, um, the extension here is so much smoother than before. And it actually like clicks and locks into place, but to bring it out, it's a much smoother transition and I don't know if you can see it here, but you don't really, um, you don't miss anything here. Sometimes you kind of, before you had to guess a little um, when it went through that area where it, um, where it came together here. So I like that. I think that's very cool. So, all right. So that's that. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more things that I can um, brag about that are good about this one, but um, let's just get busy with our, with our project for today. So, like I said, it's really just about the scoring. And you'll see that we still have the two, um, we have the, the cutting blade and we have the scoring blade here. The difference is the scoring blade is on the bottom The other uh, before it was on the top. But that's easily, trans. you can just change that out if it helps for however you prefer. Um, okay, so this is our envelope sleeve that our card will go into and this was cut at uh, nine and a quarter lengthwise and this was cut at six so it's nine and a quarter by six that's the only thing you have to remember as far as cutting now for scoring and this is where it gets a little tricky and it was a little hard to explain during the um when i was typing up the pdf so i just wanted to make sure that um that you could just see me doing it. And that's another thing here. You can actually hear it lock in place, this um, runner panel, which which I like because I feel like it it keeps the paper right down right where you want it. Sort of like, you know, the big, um, the big cutters. Okay, so we're gonna do our first cut at two and a quarter. So easy peasy right there. And as another thing that I did notice is the scoring tool is much um, deeper and before especially for cardstock I would be going one two three four five you know like trying to get a good score line you can see that I just did that just did once and twice and up and we have a nice crisp line there and um, 
which is good to know also for when you're scoring DSP, if you're doing a, a 3D project, that comes in handy because sometimes I would do that and I would be cut, uh, scoring it so much that I would cut right through it. So you, now you know, you don't have to go crazy on it. Okay, so that one was a two and a half. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just rotate it 180 degrees and I'm gonna do this score line at two and three quarters. That's it. And that's that's for the short. Now let me explain that. When I put it on my PDF and I said you're scoring two and a quarter and two and three quarters on the short side, that means to me, and I know some demonstrators do this differently, but this is my the easiest way I feel that it is to explain it and to understand it. To me, this is the short side. So, um, and this is the side that you're scoring on. So when I say short side, that's what I mean here. When I say long side, that's what I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking at here. I know some people do it like when they say short side, they say, um, that they, they say this is the short side, the short side that's up against the, the top panel. I think that's a little confusing. So um, so I do it that way. So And I, I think I explained that in the PDF too. So I scored two and a quarter here, rotated it, and I scored two and three quarters. Okay, so now I'm gonna go onto the long side here, and I'm just gonna do a quick half inch score. And I'm gonna use it on this side because it's it's much easier that way to use that, just half an inch right there. Okay, and we're gonna score that. And that's it. That's all you have to know about that. Okay, let's put that aside. I'm going to fold up on all my score lines. And you'll see how easy this is that it comes together. Okay, you could give it a a good burnish with your, oh, I picked up some dimensionals, with your bone folder. And um, normally if I'm doing like a 3D project, I would always use um, tear and tape. But I, I um, for this, it's just really just slipping this in and out. So we don't have to worry about that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my snips and I'm going to um, crop out these two end tabs. Oh boy, I can hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but they're working on my upstairs today, which I don't really have an upstairs. Hopefully I will after they're done. It's just finishing off some attic space. So I have some room to grow because I seem to be outgrowing my little stamp studio here. Okay, so what I did was I cut off both of these sides here. Okay, both of these tabs. I can make this a little cleaner. And um, and then for this one, I just made the, um, I just cut into the two corners of the uh, center tab just to make it a little bit cleaner. It's it's not a really a big deal. So when I fold it over now, I'm gonna fold it over so my shorter panel is over uh, is on the outside because that is, will be my um, the center point. So you want that in there like that. So I mean, I'll just do this. And you know what? I did forget my um, uh, what I forget. I forgot my hole punch because so I want to show you how I did that. So I'm just using snail for this. You could, if you wanted to make it a little more sturdy, you could definitely do the um, use tear and tape. But, um, whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so let me just grab my uh, hole punch. And I just grabbed my one and a half one. I'm, I'm not sure if that's actually the one I used, but either one would be fine. So what I did here was it was a little tough for it to go um, through both pieces of these card of this cardstock, especially since this it's really three pieces because it's cut in. So I just snuck it in on both sides. I can just do two punches, and I just send it through halfway on this side, 
and halfway on that. And there we have our tab, and that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're just going to put the card together, and then we can um, finish up the envelope part. All right, so this is gonna go here. So today they're putting in the window, which I'm very excited about that. And I'll be able to spread out my stuff, get it off the dining room table. At the end of the month, I have so many packages ready to go out. The holiday bundle class, the my club packages, my thank you packages. It's a lot, so I'd be very happy to get that off. Now this was a little um, half inch um, trimmed piece from the um, wrapped in plaid DSP. And I'm just gonna put this right over the white just to give it a little border, and you'll see we're going to make um, the punch, the tree punch is. I'm sorry, the phone rang. Hi, your mama. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to stamp our sentiment. This is from the Perfectly Plaid stamp set, and this is a very new and juicy cherry cobbler ink pad so I'm just gonna test it here make sure that I'm pretty straight okay that's pretty good but it's straight I have to just make sure that I have enough ink on all of it which is good here all right and I'm just gonna center this give it a little press and we're done with that Okay, so we have our card, and that was really, that was the only stamping that needs to be done for this one. So this is ready to go here. All right, so we're going to take this, and I have already um, cut out, and this is what will come in your packages also when you, uh, with, with, the, um, with the class. Um, you'll get the square, and since I know I have your, the punch, you have the punch because uh, you joined the class, I know that you're... You can, you'll do this yourself. And you don't have to, but I try to make it a little, because um, it does have that design and, whoops, I wanna make sure I'm up there. All right, I just wanna get it as close as you can. And I, what I was trying to do is get this, uh, the gold box sort of as centered as I could. So, okay, so that we have that. I did this already. I just cut a circle out of the um, stitched shape dies. And so that's ready to go. This is ready to go. And I had a piece of, um, where did that go? I had a piece of ribbon, but I guess I will, oh, here it is, okay. All right, so I took a piece of the, uh, just a, a, a about 12 inches, I think this was, of the um, shaded spruce and gold trimmed ribbon that came, that was part of that um, that sweet set. And this, this looks beautiful too with, um, and I'm just gonna make a knot. I'm not gonna make a bow here over to the side. I'm gonna do this first because I wanna know where I'm putting my, um, my stamped image. I mean, my, um, my tree and my die cuts. So that's a little long, so you probably you don't need a you don't need 12 inches then, but I think that's what I that I, what I have in your packages for you, and what I'm going to do. So we have this fits perfectly in here, lovely, and so what I'm going to do is just use my snail to hold this down, and then it will also give a little um, extra strength of holding to the ribbon too. And then I'll pop up the tree with um, some dimensionals. But this will go right over. It will keep my ribbon in place. And we have some, I, I'm gonna use some of my minis today because this tree is so cute and it is it is small. And um, it's, you know, you don't want, it has those little tree branches sticking out, so you don't want it to be, you don't want to see the dimensionals. Although in the new catalog, 
which I don't have them yet, uh, we now have black dimensionals, which is a very cool concept for when you're using dark colored cardstock. Okay, there you go. How simple was that? And you can make, you can put this in the middle if you want. You could um, add a little of uh, the holiday rhinestones, whatever. So look how pretty. And it was easy, right? I mean, it was two scores, one trim, two scores, and then just punch it on both sides so you have a little tab to pick it out with like that. Okay, that was my project. So I hope that you, like I said before, I'm gonna bring you back up here for a little bit. And let's see. Oh, I, I see a question here from Vicki. Um, Will the trimmer blades on the new one work on the old trimmer? No, unfortunately, I have been told that they will not. Um, it is the same price though. You, you In the package of new trimmer um, refill blades, you do get, uh, you, you do get more. So it might look like they cost more, but they don't. It, it comes out to the same thing. Oh, before we'd only get two in a pack. So now we get four in a pack, I do believe. So um, yeah, sorry, Vicki, but uh, it's worth it though for, to, to try it because apparently there were so many problems with those other blades. So, um, so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that if you join the, um, the holiday class, you should be getting, I should get them out definitely by the end of this week and, uh, which is earlier than what I originally had planned. Um, if you haven't joined the class yet, all you have to do is order and I will extend the RSVP till the end of this week. Um, it's just so that I make sure that I have enough of the product to, uh, to, to be able to ship out to you. Oh, and the other thing, if you already own the stamp set and um, you, you didn't order it through me, perfectly fine. Um, all you have to do is just contact me and I can send you a PayPal, a PayPal invoice for um, just the, uh, for the PDFs and the kits, but I can certainly still send you out the five PDF kits. Okay, um, if you did miss this class altogether, if you're watching this later, then and you're sorry that you missed it, um, you can stay tuned because next month um, we are doing the, for the holiday bundle class, the adorable snowman season set. And that's another cool one where it's a, um, a stamp set and a punch. So we don't have to worry about dies and die cutting machines and all, all that stuff. So I hope that you'll, there's still time to join this class. If not, then um, just join for, for next month and check it out. And uh, usually in the beginning of the month, I send out pictures of the projects that, that you will be receiving. But the best way to learn about all my classes and all of the things that I do offer online and live is to subscribe to my um, email list. And I will have a link there on the bottom uh, of the description of the video for today. So thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next week and have a great week. Bye-bye.